Hey everybody, I'm sad to say that we lost another super fan of the show, Jason Bonima, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, of Chicago. This episode is dedicated to him. Today's Doug Loves Movies is brought to you in part by Two Dope Queens, a podcast from WNYC Studios. Join Jessica Williams and Phoebe Robinson for stories about sex, like it, romance, okay, race, cool, living in New York, awesome, and more. Be the first to listen to season three on Spotify for free at spotify.com slash dope queens and check out all your favorite music on the Spotify mobile app. Doug hates candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds with 50 as a popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see. But Doug loves movies. Hey, 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 everybody. Play it again. <laughs> It'd be funny if they're like just fucking mad at me in the booth and every few minutes they just start playing the theme again. <laughs> now it's time for it to... All right. Um, <laughs> oh, that was the end theme, the second one. Just, that was their way of saying, let's just wrap this up. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm digging through the prize bag like I'm going to talk about what's in there. I just need my script. That like uh, the lighting here, I never like the afternoon shows here are great, but uh, the nighttime ones, I really have to like angle this to be able to read it in an odd way. Uh, do you are you able to read upside down front row? Because if you are, you know exactly what I'm going to say. <laughs> and it goes like this: My name is Doug, and I love movies. This is Doug loves movies. You're hired. <laughs> Coming to you once again from the Nerd Melt showroom at Meltdown Comics in Los Angeles. It's Monday. It's Memorial Day, you guys. Let's hear it. Let's hear it for all the memorial. Yes, USA. USA. Is that is that really a thing? Is that supposed to? Does that is that a way of honoring the fallen? Does this chant? To just chant like that? <laughs> well, anyway, happy Memorial Day. Everyone's going to listen to this after Memorial Day anyway, but it's May 29th, 2017, and I know you guys had the day off, so I imagine there's going to be some serious name tags here tonight. <laughs> yeah, may I please see what, what we're talking about? Yes. There's at least a dozen name tags. <laughs> there's 16 name tags. Yeah, I'm like a rain man when it comes to name tags. You guys could try and recount them, but there is fucking 16 name tags. <laughs> I'm quick, and also, there's only 16. Sophie, Sophie Yield of Dreams. I like it, Sophie. The C20,000 X Nick. 20,000 nicks under. 20,000 nicks under the sea. I'm going to murder you. <laughs> I can't even read any of these other ones. It's almost like you guys listen to the show and are like, I heard big name tags are bad. And you brought them all down to size. Or you all go to the same Kinko's. But whatever it is... Thank you to all of you for bringing name tags and good luck to each and every one of you because we all know that my guests uh, are just going to pick whatever. They're just going to pick whatever. <laughs> Doug Plugs, I'll be on At Midnight this Thursday night on Comedy Central. I think it's after the uh, President's show. Saturday, June 3rd, Douglas Movies returns to the Comedy Zone in Charlotte, North Carolina at 4.20. And then Douglas Movies is back here at Meltdown Comics, uh, Sunday, June 11th. You do not want to miss this one, baby. <laughs> at 9 p.m. Uh, San Francisco, Boston, Philly, Providence, Kansas City, 
Lots of shows. Lots of them are Douglas movies, but all of my dates and deets are at DouglasMovies.com. That's DouglasMovies.com. Now it's time for <laughs> Tweet Relief. <laughs> Tweets about movies. Our pal Chris Cubis tweeted, uh, a women's only screening of Wonder Woman? What's next? Women having complete autonomy over their rep- reproductive health? <laughs> God damn it, I wish I didn't s- fuck up that one word. This has been Tweet Relief Suck It Sexist Edition. Uh, I got a prize bag here in my hands, and it's full of uh, some really fun stuff, like a uh, special package from the folks at Sunbum. Yeah, that's right. It's not only some sunblock, but also some cool down. (laughs) Don't know what that is or does. And uh, some chapstick. It's all in a a lovely box that says, trust the bum. Again, I wouldn't, I'd advise against that for a uh, slogan, but go ahead, you guys. Trust the bum. Believe the buttocks. <laughs> oh, look at this. Another a water, but I'm going to keep it because that's a weird thing to put in there. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm fucking putting the water in the bag. The water's going in the bag. Because you know what? There's also going to be a, a water gun. And now I realize that even when I'm high, I somehow manage to <laughs> make some sort of sense. I brought my uh, cricket making machine in case the crickets sh- the crickets show up, but it sounds cricketless so far tonight. So, that, <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Uh, a copy of my CD. Also, uh, this was something I landed in my hands. I don't know where. I don't know why. A patch for Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> So if you're dressing up as one of the Ghostbusters, male or female, I don't care. (laughs) It is really funny how that women's only uh, Wonder Woman thing gets men so angry. Like, what the fuck? Why do they fucking care? (laughs) Go see it or don't see it how you normally do. Like, what? Uh, You know, they're not complaining about it. If there's a women's only screening of Mean Girls, they wouldn't complain. Maybe a couple of gay dudes. <laughs> I also am including some gum that I got that I don't understand what this is about. It's, it's gum that says on the front of it, shut the hell up. So that's, that's, I've got a, lot of, a series of odd gums that I've been giving away. I think that's all of it. All of that stuff, plus whatever my guests brought, which is uh, going to be an I- interesting mix of things, I-, I think, based on what they showed me backstage. Uh, please give a big warm welcome as I flip the page over several times. That's how much the front and back don't re- look exactly the same uh, in this light. Uh, please welcome, uh, again, this is the second time we've done this. This is an entirely new group of folks from the uh, new Showtime show, I'm Dying Up Here. Yeah. Please give a big warm welcome to Michael Angarano, Clark Duke, and Ari, no, no, John Daly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ari Grainer, everybody. That's what I should have said, is filling in for Ari Grainer, because she was going to be here, but she uh, it was, got sick today. and was Sorry, very, she wasn't able very, to be here, and it's just me. I could have, I could have not... She me- would have been great. Yeah, I could have not mentioned it at all, but, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's terrific that you could be here in her place. I mean, I think it's still going to be a, a terrific show, but I wanted to mention it because I didn't have time to write questions for you. <laughs> John Daly, so I'm going to ask you the questions I was going to ask Ari Grainer. What was it like being the only woman That's on cool the show, with me. John? <laughs> yeah, that kind of Sexy. shit. Sexy. Yeah. I felt my tits the whole time. Yeah. It was so hot. I think it's, I think it's going to be super fun. It's great to have you here for your, for your first time. Let's hear it for him. It's John Daly, everybody. Woo! 
this, uh, you know, this panel uh, it already worked out kind of great with uh, if Ari Grainer would be here because we had the three comedians who were playing comedians in I'm Dying Up Here in an ep a couple episodes ago. And now we're having uh, actors that were playing comedians in uh, I'm Dying Up Here. I mean, not, have any of you actually done any uh, stand-up comedy other than maybe to research your role? Other than that, no. 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 Nope. Neither have I. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Because you said it so dramatically? Or have you actually done stand-up? I have done stand-up. You, but, but you're more of an improviser and sketch guy, right? Yeah, I would say. Yeah, there you go. All right. Sorry, to, I didn't mean to put you in the but wrong jo file. John does have... I was just uh, trying to be funny. <laughs> he also has the skill, whenever we would do read-throughs, we did 10 episodes and we had 10 read-throughs, and whenever John spoke <laughs> right? and said a word... It was. It, it would always get yeah, the biggest. Yeah, if only that would happen I, I here would tonight. I would say without question, John, John is the favorite cast member of the cast. 100%. Yeah, that, I was going to say what you're saying yeah. with whenever I speak, it gets a big laugh. That's happening tonight too. Exactly. <laughs> Clearly, same thing. Yeah, it's happening any minute now. <laughs> it's going to kick in Fuck. when they realize that they are making a mistake. <laughs> when they don't laugh. But also speaking in that exchange, it's Michael Angarano, everybody. <laughs> Star of fucking Sky High. <laughs> Who doesn't love that goddamn movie? The hero. And then he turns around, and he's a goddamn villain in the Stanford prison experiment. Yeah. I don't know if I've hated a person more that I used to love. <laughs> Did you, did you, uh, you know, uh, do that? <laughs> What's that form of acting where you don't drop character? Method, method. acting. Did you method that shit? No, not, it, it was. You it, seem like too good nice a guy to method that shit. Although you have the same hairstyle again now that you had. In Stanford Prison Experiment. Yeah, yeah, right? That was a wig, though. <laughs> oh, it was? Yeah, that, that was a wig. <laughs> Boo. Boo. That's not method. <laughs> Grow that shit out. Uh, hey, we're gonna have to hold off production until I grow out my curly locks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you've uh, you've done a lot of great work and a lot of great movies over the years, starting all the way back with uh, Almost Famous. He was the younger version of the uh, hero of that film. And uh, thanks for being here and for. Be, I, I haven't said this yet, but I'm a fan of I'm Dying Up Here. I, I've only seen the pilot, but I, so we. I enjoyed it. Yeah. That's as far as you've gone. They haven't That's shown true. you more than yeah. that? We did yeah, the pilot a... two years ago, and we, and we haven't seen any other episodes since <gasps> then. What the fuck? <laughs> they should show them to you just so you can, you know, you can get... Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, no, exactly. You can help get the yeah. buzz out. Like so, you, you might be in a turkey after this just first Just to make one. sure it's not terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. We did the pilot and in two Novembers ago and then didn't get picked up till January of last year and then didn't film until like May. August, yeah, yeah, or like yeah. July. Yeah, yeah. Well, June, it, July. Was, it was later than that. And was. then finished filming in November. And yeah. so like, Showtime decides when it's showtime. <laughs> <laughs> they were just sitting on like when this, we're gonna know exactly when a 70s set stand-up comedy on the Sunset Strip show, we're going to know exactly when it's going to work. And the answer is, after a boring episode of Twin Peaks. That is when people are going to be like, holy shit, this show is on fire compared to that last show that had a movie with fire Palette in the cleanser. title. <laughs> exactly. No, I was really thinking that, like, I haven't seen any of the new Twin Peaks, but I hear that, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a mood piece. And uh, <laughs> to, to put it politely, and uh, I hear there's a seven minute sequence of a guy painting shovels and um, that doesn't seem like a spoiler to me that seems like something you could say they start with that yeah and uh, so I really I'm on do season think... two I'm on episode nine of season two right now oh, I've are? never seen it before yeah. oh you're catching oh. up on all of it yeah well this new stuff is not like any of the previous stuff as far as I've heard and uh, so I am excited for you guys. You have a lead in that truly will make your show seem like it's am amazingly full of incident, <laughs> you know, compared to painting shovels. But I should also mention, because I like to introduce the, the uh, guests individually, that Clark Duke is here, everybody. <laughs> Woo! I 
wrote down for everybody like what uh, titles I wanted to say, uh, uh, reasons I like you. Kick-Ass Movies, Hot Tub Time Machine Movies, Woo! The Office, yeah. and uh, you play uh, Ron Shack. Yep. In now, you aware there's a comedian called Ron Shock or used to be a I had no idea, former no. comedian. Yeah, they just changed. We, a, we were not that aware real? of that. Is that for real? They just changed a letter in your name. Yeah, the Ron Shock's a real they, dude. Um, right? Nobody else. Where's he right now? <laughs> yeah, what's he up to? I believe he's passed away. Okay. R.I.P. Ron Shock. Or he's very sick, or he's doing great. What are what are? <laughs> <laughs> I my, think my one of those things happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> my character was originally named something else, and um, and I it was a name that I was like I just don't feel like I, I like I don't feel like this is my name. Larry. Yeah, it was Larry, and I was like, oh, uh, was I, it Larry Hatton Scarf? <laughs> 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 yeah. And you're you're like that's not me, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's me on an occasion. That's a mistake. But that's not what I'm all about. It'd be a mistake. For me to be that guy. That's me on a holiday. That's me on a Labor Day. Maybe. <laughs> or how about in the winter? Uh, a hat and scarf maybe always in works in the winter time. Well, you know, it's 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 a summer scarf, but um, you know, you realize when you're going with a bunch of comedians to do something in front of an audience, um, you're, you're probably set, shouldn't you're wear a hat and a up. scarf. You're setting yourself up. Might as well been pulling a, a carry-on suitcase and. I'll tell you, the most fashionable, the most risk-taking uh, uh, audience members, they're the ones who get picked on, and it's not right. And that's why I'm starting an anti-bullying campaign. <laughs> what, what are and these, it's called what are these Hat Hilton and Scarves bags? Are Cool. What? What are, what are these Hilton bags you're unfold? This looks... Uh, <laughs> this is... Uh, what's I'm casting on? American Beauty 2. <laughs> <laughs> Try to pick between these bags. <laughs> you have to blur out the Hilton. That's not these none of those like the, make the cut. You didn't get any of those uh, shoes shined. But you this just, no, this is the prize bag. Go. Believe it or not, it's gorgeous. Got a are you staying at Hilton? Valuable. Right I didn't realize you were doing so well at Hilton. I did. Pre I did previous previously to being here. I don't have in Los Angeles. I have no reason to have a bunch of plastic bags lying around, <laughs> other than when I come home from hotel stays. So this is the prize bag. This other bag, I brought that because I'm really clever. I've got some stuff I want to carry home with me uh, tonight, so I brought another bag. If you're listening at home, these bags are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> they're just white plastic bags. Well, you guys are about to add to these. <laughs> they're, they're not wet. <laughs> not oh, he said white? <laughs> All right, I got to do a quick edit in the show. What? That's correct, Clark. They are white. <laughs> Just as America should be. <laughs> Whoa. All right, another edit. <laughs> Just how the world should be. <laughs> so uh, I, I know you guys uh, all got, you know, sort of, uh, Ari was sort of the ringleader of getting me guests for, uh, for this. We met at the, I met a, a, most of you. I already knew John, but we met at uh, the uh, South by Southwest where they had a screening of I'm Dying Up Here and uh, the movie killed, uh, the first episode killed at uh, 11.30 a.m. on a Tuesday or wherever the fuck it was. So it was, uh, it was a great reaction. Almost and, and as dynamic a time as uh, 8.45 on Memorial Day, <laughs> Monday night. Hey, that's why I told you to arrive, but the show started at 9 when things are crack-a-lacking. <laughs> I think we're fucking ruling it. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, the lighting in here is perfect. There could there could just be two rows of people, and we wouldn't know. It's true. I think there's three or four at least. But uh, no, I do appreciate everybody being here on, on this particular night. But what? Because it's because last minute calls were made. What do you guys have for the prize bag tonight? We'll start with Michael. Well, I scoured. I, I couldn't come up with really anything, but I, I did find... I think you did come up with something. I, I came up with something, which was a, a souvenir that I stole from the I'm Dying Apira party at South by Southwest. It's a, uh, it's a koozie. It's an I'm Dying Apira yeah. koozie. Nice koozie. Um, world premiere screening, Wednesday, yeah. uh, March Commemorates 15th the date at 11.30 a.m. Screening you weren't at that you could put around a beer that you definitely are having. So, that's an yeah. important... I love it. 
And I, and I stole one from that same function and uh, put it in a prize bag a couple nights ago. So, <laughs> so it's an ongoing prize here on the show, and I couldn't be happier. John Daly? I got, uh, like, the movie uh, from the movie E.T. <laughs> oh, I like and other it. movies, like too. It. Some warm... Yeah, some... 98.6 degrees. As melted as you can get them. Reese's Pieces. Mm-hmm. A candy that... The one thing about it that's not good is the taste, the flavor of it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, you don't like the flavor. That's the worst part of it. Yeah, yeah, the, you the like the texture. It, I you love like everything. <laughs> the flavor. It bums me out. And they are not warm. A good, not, doesn't taste good. It really... <laughs> It's warm. <laughs> it's very it's warm. Like, it's like, it's like I just dick. scooped up a handful. It's like I scooped up a handful of the bottom of the aquarium. Yeah. That's it's like this, a soft dick. That's what this bag of... Super warm. <laughs> it's a super warm soft dick. And, and it, Full of beans. And it's going in the bag. So I don't know, you know, be careful putting your dick in a bag. What do you got, Clark? I have a, a Sharpie used at the table read by Robert Forster. Whoa, Robert Forster. Much like the George's pen from John Voight in Seinfeld, I have a Sharpie used by Robert Forster. What did you do with Robert Forster? He's in the pilot. He's the pilot for the show. Up here. He's in the show. Oh, he's the, uh, yeah. he's he's, the father. He's the father that's Sebastian's a- angry. Yeah. Very Lots angry. Lots of great Sebastian guest stars. Yep. Father. Yep. Yeah, uh, and Kathy Moriarty is, is his Kathy wife. Kathy Moriarty, mm-hmm. Winter Soldier, Star of Jackie Brown, Winter Soldier. He's yeah. in the first Sebastian episode. Stan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Handsomest person I've ever met, Sebastian Stan. The great uh, Rick Overton shows up at some point. Uh, Dom Myrera. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Yeah. Melissa sure, Leo. We forgot Melissa, Melissa Leo. Leo. Melissa Leo. She's the. the she's she the cameo. plays the. Uh, episode three. She plays sort of the uh, Mitzi Shore character at the <laughs> store in the seventies. But uh, Melissa Leo uh, says she didn't even hear of Mitzi Shore until after she had shot a few of her scenes. So it's not really based on Mitzi Shore. It's just a strong woman who is terrible. (laughs) (laughs) You know, not to to try to outdo Melissa, but I had never heard of comedy until... (laughs) After we wrapped Wow, the they season. didn't tell you about comedy until they had never, they'd cast yeah. you. I'm and from you're... Arkansas. I never. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> until after we wrapped the first season. <laughs> I love that. It's just like, you just got to learn on the fly, don't you? Did you guys do stand up sets to prepare, or did you just save it for the cameras? I, I did, I did a, a handful of of open mics um, and I went to a bunch of One open and a half. mics. Like straight up open mics? Because that's also not what you're really depicting in the show because in the show you always kind of have a crowd there you know that are expecting professional comedy. It's it's kind of different, right? Yeah, I did. I, well, I went to, I only partook in a handful of open mics at, at the most discreet. One and a half. <laughs> it turns out it's pretty easy to fake. <laughs> it turns out when, when dialogue is It's kind of like you stand up and then you go, hey, everybody, how you doing? It's <laughs> as long guys as someone, are pretty good actors. As long as someone writes all the material in the audience, the extras have to laugh. Uh, it's not that hard to f- Well, let me ask you this, uh, Ari slash John. Uh, as, uh, in the role of... Uh, Arnie. Cassie Fetter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Cassie, yes. Yeah, in the role of Cassie. Uh, did you base your uh, you know performance on any particular comedian uh, of the time or now? Um... Bill Cosby. <laughs> That's Actually, interesting. My whole why would thing... a female comic in the seventies? Why would she? Uh, no, no. Why, I'd say why Bill Cosby. I'd say I. I know. I, I was just joking because he. He's. A, he's a funny one to bring up because he's in so much hot water. Um, allegedly. <laughs> um, allegedly. You uh, know, hot water. I just anyway. recently heard keeps your sperm count down. That's probably why he didn't impregnate anybody. Yeah. That's funny one. I just heard that. I, I'm talking about science right now. Yeah. When someone's having a baby, I scream hot water. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Ari Grainer. Um, See, this is how do I feel about Bette Midler? How about Bette Midler and uh, Elaine Boozler? I'd love if Ari Grainer got quoted from this podcast saying yeah. something terrible. I like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Comedy sucks. <laughs> Comedy shit. It's not an art form. <laughs> 
Give me that drama, baby. <laughs> Love. Art. No, it's <laughs> terrible. It's John. Well, that's one of your God. first roles, Ari, was in uh, Mystic uh, River. Yes, I, I, I almost played said Sean Mystic Penn. Pizza. <laughs> I played Sean Penn, and you that was Sean a great. Penn that was a great that? one. Yeah, I played Sean Penn in that Mystic River, that great movie about nuns abusing children. It was that doubt. Was about, um, it's about <laughs> Mystic River, that great movie with Kevin Bacon. Yes, uh, yes, it's getting uh, warmer. Right, Meryl Streep and Kevin Bacon, right? Down, the uh, the down. River Wild. No Streep, <laughs> right? The Mystic River Wild. Uh, no. Well, yes, I was great in that. I yeah, thought I, I thought you won were an Oscar. Terrific. I liked you in The Sitter. I thought you were great in that. I, sh- I thought I, that I should have won an Oscar for The Sitter as well. Yeah, because you, you let Jonah go down on you. That was amazing. Did I? <laughs> Jonah Ray? <laughs> <laughs> yep, Jonah, Jonah Ray comes out on you. I'd do that. Like, uh, <laughs> I'd let Jonah Ray flip my bean. <laughs> Sorry, that's the worst way to say that. What's the name of his CISO show? Hidden America. CISO show, Hidden America. That's yeah. about, that's, it's a euphemism for going down on ladies. Uh, Have you ever been to you know, Hidden guys, America? Hidden America. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just me. That's just for me. So, what do you have for the bag, Clark? I'm sorry. He gave, he gave it the Robert Forster. <laughs> the, the, the Sharpie. The Robert Forster. Oh, yeah, that's it off. right. What? All right. I thought, you, I thought you might have come up with something else <laughs> since then. But he really touched that? Yeah. All yeah, right. he used that, yeah. Yep. He played Jackie Brown, of course. <laughs> so, played her for a fool. That's right. But, uh, yeah, he did. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll be back with more Make Me Laugh. <laughs> no, I want to ask you guys about, uh, you know, I know you're busy promoting your new show and everything, but what about the, the, the cinema? Have you, have you seen anything lately? Like, what was, what was the last movie you saw, Michael? I, I've been watching Twin Peaks. I've been watching... You, you're Twin all caught Peaks. up. You're like, you know oh. that's not a movie, right? <laughs> you have, well, there's a part of depends. it. Depends. You have all five hours under your belt? No, I haven't watched the new one. I've been... I'm, I've oh, watched, oh, that's right. You I've said it earlier. I've been season one on and season two. Stuff. So then after that, are you going to watch Fire Walk yeah, with I me? Yeah, I plan on it. I and then the show. Yeah. I'm, trust me, I think you can watch them concurrently. Really? Yeah, based on what I've heard, I watched none 10 of it seconds. makes any fucking sense. <laughs> I watched like it's 10 like seconds. It's like the leftovers. You can watch a season from one uh, episode from one season, then a previous season. Doesn't matter what order you watch them in. It's still not going to add up. I hear, I hear, <laughs> I hear Twin Peaks. It's all scored by Rex and Effects, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's not good enough. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna give you points for that one. Thank points. Points. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what? Okay, so but do you like it? So you've been watching? Yeah, I'm you, way into you're it. In, you're into way it. Way into it. I watched the 10 seconds. The way it used to be. I, yeah. I just hear the but new... But you haven't watched the, the new one. No, I, no, no, I no. hear the new stuff is slow. The new one, I watched 10 seconds of. It looked like a MoMA exhibit. Yeah, like it was, it was real. I saw there's this documentary out there called The Art Life with David Lynch. It's two hours of walk, fucking watching him paint. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and just the fact that he would sit there and go, yeah, this is probably worth somebody's time. Go ahead and film this. At one point, his daughter walks in and he's like, I'm good at ignoring you. It's not exactly what he says, but... He's like, when he speaks, he's like, I like ketchup. <laughs> yep, that's the whole that's monologue. The whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I like ketchup. Yeah, that's it. Have anyway, you seen anything lately, he's John? The best. Um, what if I enjoy it? I want to see this Dunkirk movie based on the trailer, which looks great. Um, and I want to, um, what, what is it? The last movie I saw in the theater was... Could uh, be at home. Um, oh yeah. I watched the Could Roger be. Stone documentary on Netflix, which is a horrible, disgusting oh. man. I watched, um... Oh, you like that guy? I watched the keep. Oh, you like the documentary? I like documentary. <laughs> Here's some of my favorite ones. I'm in the audience. <laughs> um, um, there's a. Uh, I'm yeah. sure people do come here like in their heads. They know the answers to these <laughs> questions. 
because they listen to the show all the time. You guys, this is all being sprung on you. Yeah. But I think you're doing great. This is a show? <laughs> I liked Kong Skull Island. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Hey, man. Nice. I thought it was pretty pretty exciting. I enjoyed and, it. Um, it had some good, uh, especially for the old PG-13, they still managed to do right. some shit that made you go, oh, man, that but was harsh. If you watch it with the intention of where is King Kong's dick, <laughs> He has to have a dick yeah. to procreate. Oh, so in that sense, it was a letdown? In that sense, I was like, whoa, they really placed the fur really well. There's a lot of stuff where you're like, what is that dick? <laughs> is the whole movie like that scene in Austin Powers where they're hiding his dick? Yeah. You know what? There's like a palm tree. No joke. There is shit like and that. There is Easter always Island something head. covering his dick. Yeah. Watch Skull and Island like with an Larson. eye for that. King Kong's <laughs> holding a couple of giant melons in front yeah. of his dick. Yeah. It really does. But it'll be a mountain because he's so big. He Lots really is. Was That's small and a regular man. That is one of the things I enjoyed very much about Kong Skull Island is the the giganticness of Kong was very thrilling. Yeah. It was very exciting mm. that he was so big. <laughs> he was big. He was so big. Touche, Doug. I just wanted I just wanted to take in all of him with my eyes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Love that Kong. I want to see that dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> what if it was? Turns out it's Lady Kong, <laughs> Queen Kong. Oh, that's true. Yeah, maybe it's right, a, the reboot, been, the Paul Feig girl. version. <laughs> yeah. <be> my, <laughs> oh shit! Paul Feig went and ruined Kong. Oh, man. Kong can't be a lady. Ladies only screening. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kong. <laughs> There should be a movie from start to finish made by women. Only women can go see it. God is no step of the way do they let men into the process, and men will fucking just start killing themselves. (laughs) The reviews come out as 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. (laughs) What do you mean men can't see it? (laughs) (laughs) What was the last movie you saw, Clark? Um. I think, I think the last movie I watched was Once Upon a Time in the West. All right, you don't and have then, to impress us with I'm your. I'm not. <laughs> and then before that, I watched fancy uh, movie watching. It's a great movie. I know, right? And then I watched, uh, <laughs> I watched Blowout, that Brian De Palma movie. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah, that yeah. your first Classic. time? It was. Yeah, I never watched. I it watched before. it recently too. Yeah, it's incredible. Pretty it's awesome, incredible. right? That's my new yeah. thing: De Palma and chill. Yeah. That's a good. Oh. Whoa, that is not very chill. That depends. That is like intense situations in slow motion and spinning. <laughs> like he, all of his movies, are like what the fuck is happening? <laughs> a lot of camera movement, a lot of uh, split diopter and chill. Yeah, and just yeah. very. <laughs> Very intense. Carlito's Way and shit. Carlito's oh Way. Oh, my Carlito's God. Carlito's Way is terrible. Oh, no, Carlito's, man. Carlito's, Carlito's, Carlito's Way. Way. Best De Palma movie. No. Carlito's Way. This audience member likes oh it, so God. we're right. Uh, come on. Don't you love Johnny Legs? <laughs> I did just hey, watch man, uh, Benny Blanco from Dress the to Kill for the first time. Oh, wait. Or which, which one is the one with Michael Caine? That's, uh, Dress to Kill. Yeah, I watched that for the first time. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty great. Crazy. I also watched Youth, that that Paulo Sorrentino movie the other day. That was pretty cool. That's also got Michael Caine. Yeah, Michael Caine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I watched movie. Bob Jane and Carol and Ted and Alice the, I for the first Jane time. So Whoa, much. you guys are really hitting me with a lot of. Yep. Uh, you didn't like it? Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh, <laughs> Pope, I, I just assumed. No, no, no. no. Watch Young Pope. Young Pope's good. Young Pope is the truth. So really? Young Pope is the truth. Young Pope is the truth. Sounds watch, like a rapper. Watch Young Pope. Young Pope. That young, is a good young, rapper. No, seriously, Young Young Pope. I thought was the most impressive yeah. like thing. I'm just gonna wait around for cinematography, like music. Like it was the yeah, most I controlled, assured direction. Like mind blowing. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna stick around for this show about young guy from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> That's who I want to see. That's who I want to see. Sheldon? Young, young Sheldon. Sheldon. Oh, there is a young Sheldon. I want to see the shit out of young Sheldon. Yeah. I don't give a fuck for young popes. Yeah. But no, that young pope, like every time I do watch it, it's like it does. It's very cinematic, and I'm just like, I don't know. I, I don't get it. You don't get I just, cinematic. I, I don't get it. You I don't, don't get cinema. I don't get shows that are like a painting. I want. I want things. 
Things Every to move episode around. of Young Pope is better than the episode before it. Wow. Did he direct them all? Yeah. And he co wrote them all. Who? All right. Paolo Sorrentino. All right. It's, yeah. it's like one I'm piece. In. Like the, it's, it's fucking awesome. All right. Like, I'm going to watch Pope. it. It has a lot of uh, Jude Law's butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, out. I'm back out. That was my least favorite is there, part. Is there least Pope favorite dick? part of Dom Hemingway was is his Is there a butt. Pope dick? That's a great question. Pope dick? That's no. a big, that's an Easter egg. Is, no. the dick. is there is papal dick? cock? No. <laughs> nope. No is condoms. that a cliffhanger for season two? Do you think there'll there be is a, a season two. two? They announced it. It's happening. It's going to be a different, a different Pope, a new Pope. Slightly what? older Pope. <laughs> Jude Law's poped out? <laughs> He dies at the end. Oh, no! What's the matter with you? Spoiler alert! What the fuck? What's the matter with you? I'm gonna kick your ass, dude! It's been out for months. Oh, my God. That was so so Vatican shitty of you. (laughs) Next thing you'll know, you know, the fucking, you're like, the Sopranos ends and that's the way that that ends. And then you'll be a spoiler guy. (laughs) Both about Italians, yeah. I guess you guys, even though, even though you haven't seen it, you know everything that's going to happen of, oh, no, I'm dying up here. And it, I imagine there's some, quite a lot of twists and turns in, in the story, so <laughs> what are you laughing it's at? pretty straight up. <laughs> we know everything that happens. We shot the whole show. Yeah, but so it's still crazy. It's crazy that you haven't seen it, but you, at least you have an idea like it doesn't go off the rails, right? It but once you, once you see more than an idea, I mean, we know. Yeah, <laughs> I think. But, but yeah, have you ever been in something where it, when it comes together like not in a way you expected, like not as well as you'd hoped, or vice versa? I've been versa? in stuff that turns out terrible. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, when but you, as far as the plot, when do you see that coming? At what point do you know that's happening? That it's going terrible. Never until it's too late. <laughs> until, you, until you see it, yeah, you can't really. Yeah. I find out when you do. <laughs> but yeah, there's always true. something for everybody, though. <laughs> That's true, too. Right? Your shit may be my Shinola. Your garbage may be my food. I want to eat your yeah. shit, Doug. <laughs> Yeah, That's what the, I'm getting at. Of those two analogies, I'd only eat one of the four things that you mentioned. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I, get it. I get what you're saying. <laughs> well, you guys, you've been tremendous thus far. Uh, you really nailed the talk portion of the show. <laughs> but uh, Now's the physical challenge? Episode, <laughs> episode five, there's a nuclear apocalypse. <laughs> And I'm dying up here. That's the spoiler. So I just gave. Oh, it all that's away. what the "I'm dying up here" is a reference to. <laughs> yep. It's a nuclear the entire apocalypse. world is ex- is dying. The biggest twist so. for yep. me is I thought it was a medical show until about episode three. Yeah. When Manson I, shows up in episode yeah. four, they told uh, me they told me it was a procedural in a hospital in the seventies. Yeah. Well. About a hospital on a hill. I'll tell you one thing about the show. It's fucking groovy. Right? Yeah. It's a groovy show. Yeah, the man. hospital was on a hill because he was dying uh, up, up here. here. Uh, I get it. I got it. It's about this hospital in Silver Lake <laughs> up on a hill. Yeah. The, the hills of Silver Lake. I'm dying up here. Anyway, I'd signed the fucking contract at that point. I couldn't get out of it. Yeah. And everything they told me about my character was a lie. Yeah. And now we're here promoting it. The name? And it's about comedy. Larry? Or some, yeah, I'm not Larry. Yeah. I'm Ron. Ronnie? Not Dr. Ron Shack. <laughs> not Dr. Shack. <laughs> yeah. Ron but that Shaw. was one of my favorite scenes in the pilot. It was the three of you guys together when uh, you give them their living accommodations. We're, That's, the three, we're the three best actors. That makes sense. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's also uh, based on Jim Carrey's real life, apparently. Yeah. Is he stayed in a closet for real. When he at, first came out to California. At the comedy store or just at somebody's house or something? At somebody's house. Yeah. 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 All right. He lived in a closet. You know, I'm sure there's stuff that's, you know, because it's Jim Carrey provided a lot of the story ideas, I'm sure it's uh, a lot of it is comedy store-esque, but it's not always exactly, you know, it's not biographical. Of, For legal reasons. Of the t- <laughs> right? Right. But isn't that... <laughs> 
Like I was watching uh, uh, the, the movie Nice Guys with uh, Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe, and it's just so funny how they could just film the comedy store straight up. Like the, this takes place in the '70s, so we'll just film it now. Yeah. And it, as long as no one looks at the fine print of the names of the comics on the wall, <laughs> it just fucking is just yeah. still the comedy store in the exact same spot, <laughs> looking Chris exactly is the unfocused. same. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony We're just said it. Uh-huh. Damn it, shoot it again. I saw D'Elia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a problem, I guess. All right, this is the part of the show where I say, let the games begin. <laughs> uh, lady and gentlemen, Ari and you guys, uh, go out uh, into the crowd and pick the name tag. Oh, I see a butterfinger hanging off of that eraser head. Aaron head. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, go pick a name tag that you want to play for uh, and bring it back to your seat. And while you do that, we'll do a brief commercial message. We'll be right back. We're back. Hey, so <laughs> we, we talked about it during the break, but <laughs> Clark, who are you playing for? Julie, lazy Julie. <laughs> Now why do you why do you say she's lazy? Because she like didn't bot she th- there's something wrote on the back of the paper that she's marked out, and then just on the front of the paper drawn, but it bleeds through. <laughs> Pretty lazy. Yeah. Well, the idea is you're supposed to they're supposed to write a shithead on the back, so if you lose, oh, a she did write that. Consolation okay. prize, and uh, I'll say whatever they wrote on the back, so don't read those out loud. But oh, okay, it but does that's say like that. their consolation. If so, if, that's normal. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, think I apologize, so. Julie. <laughs> I didn't mean to put you I mean, on I don't know if like normal's the, the right word for following it. Following the rules. I followed what you were saying, and I thought I really did think she crossed something out and, and it bled through. So uh, she was just trying to keep you from reading it's the both. shithead. <laughs> so it's, uh, but it's, what is, what also attracted you to that name tag? It was the only one that was a movie I've been in. Yeah. <laughs> hot, hot Julie time machine. Yeah. Doesn't have to rhyme always. She could have put Julie pretty much in, in, in exchange of any word in the title. Yeah. Yep. And it would any still word. have been as much of a pun. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> She's also in the, in the, in the first right. row. I yep. think there there's a little convenience with her being in the fr- oh, front yeah, row. Oh, yeah, you're a convenience uh, name tag picker. Yeah, I mean, I mean oh, it's, not like, it's not like the others were a bunch of, like, fucking, you know, home runs either. I mean, this was... <laughs> Yeah, I saw a lot of wasted time and effort. Just a lot of people needed to Didn't seem like you cranked these out at five. (laughs) Seems like a lot of thought went into it. Yeah, these aren't a bunch of Adobe Illustrator files they printed off here, you know? These. (laughs) Spend more time on this show than we did. (laughs) Fucking jerks. Just kidding. I love you. What am I talking about? I'd like, I'd like some scientists to take this episode and the one with the three uh, stand-ups from I'm Dying Up Here, uh, Al and Eric and uh, Santino, and uh, you know compare them for wh- which, which group got more laughs. <laughs> Eric. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Eric. You know Fuck what you, be- dude. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. Uh, I didn't say uh, which person was the loudest and interrupted the most. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> wait, you talking about Eric? Come on. Might be a more interesting metric. Uh, which group had made more money? Oh! Box office mojo, here I come! Oh! And then that was a mic drop from Clark. It seemed like a mic ruin. Yeah, yeah. The sound booth it is... Hit that, now hit that water bottle. Yeah, it it it's funny water. how, it how, oh God, how sad sorry. everybody got. It hit the water everyone bottle. Everyone was really like, oh shit. It made it more dramatic. It's just a fucking microphone. If he had been electrocuted, like you would have... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just up to the part in Better Call Saul where she thinks, as a character thinks there's gunshots every night. Turns out it's newspapers being delivered. <laughs> Spoiler! All right, what are we doing? Oh, who are you playing for there, uh, John I'm, Daly? I'm uh, playing for It's Matt the Movie. Oh, instead of It's, it's Pat. I like instead that. Instead of It's Pat. Yeah, that's Doug funny. Raciously Funny Adventure. I don't think it's that funny either. <laughs> Wait, what? The, the movie or, your, or the name tag? I don't know. I did think it was funny, but it didn't get a good reaction, so I'm, I'm sour on it. 
I'm pretty in the moment. Do you want to? Do you want to change it in for another one? No, this is cool. I you like. like it. Do you like the shithead on like the back? Nice, he seems like a nice guy. He's got sure. an epic shithead on the back. Sure. Yeah. No, it's fine. Yeah. All right. It's great. Cool. I don't know what you're. Yeah. What All right. Yeah. So it's it's who? It's uh, it's Matt the movie. Matt. It's Matt. Okay. It's Matt the movie. I gotta remember these names. Okay. All right. Who are you playing for, Michael? I got a guy named Aaron, um, and the the poster is Aaron Head, uh, a film by David Lynch. Right, and you're into Twin Peaks right yeah, that's, now. Yeah, that's why I went. And, I don't know if the Butterfinger has any... Do you like a Butterfinger? I love a Butterfinger. Do you like a... And a vape pen? A vape pen? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, let me, let, let take, me take this off of here for you, because that you don't want to get you don't wanna get caught with this thing. No. No, I can't. Yeah, you're, you know, you're out there. You've got a great career. <laughs> vape. Total vapage. So the audience can just pass you anything up here and you'll put it in your mouth? <laughs> it's ricin gas. As long as it's ladies first. I mean, eventually, that could, that yes. could have been anything. <laughs> could still be anything. No, I won't eat that disgusting Butterfinger. <laughs> but they are delicious. Yeah, tear it off just waiting there. for Doug to die now. Are you going to eat it? No, I'm not going to eat it. Oh, if you're not going to eat it, you should chuck it into the crowd. <laughs> Butterfingers are trash. Yeah, throw it hard. Don't, don't throw it light. Yeah, hurt a girl. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. Oh, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. There you go. <laughs> Wow, he has a 40 of Bud Light. Yeah, how much beer do you need? Yeah. And you he alcoholic. And he, and he didn't drop it to snag a Butterfinger out of the air. It was pretty impressive. The fact that he could drink that 40 and then he's got those Spider-Man reflexes. <laughs> catch that 40 left-handed. I better catch it stuff with a drone. <laughs> Eric! I don't know. Should we be clear who, who did that voice? <laughs> Eric! That was Ari. That was Ari. Ari, you are just incorrigible. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, up. but like, thanks. Shut up. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to play a series of games, and uh, the person who wins uh, at the end of all the games is going to... The prize bags go into the person that you're playing for. You can put your name tags down on the ground, preferably face up so I can read them. So I can say things like, John's playing for Matt. (laughs) Julie is partnered up with Clark. And Aaron is relying on you, Michael. (laughs) We're going to start from the opposite side of me with uh, Clark, and then we'll go across. Okay. How do the comedians do at the at the at the movie section? It's interesting because some comedians are real trivia nerds and know a ton of uh, stuff, but then others don't know m- much at all. And I've strain, you know, sometimes I'm surprised by it, like uh, how little some comics know. Because I think I like to think that comedians are you know nerdy people that liked movies and TV, and that's why they got into comedy. But some not, are more physical, always. less mental. <laughs> Okay, that's... I mean, seriously. That's a serious... <laughs> some are like, A plus B equals joke. And some are like, you know, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Could you give some examples, John? <laughs> I'm both. <laughs> yeah, you're a little bit both. <laughs> All right, so here's how this game works. It's, uh, it's called ABCD's Nuts, and basically it's a spelling game, and to honor the, you guys and your show, I'm Dying Up Here, that's what we're going to spell. So the first letter that goes to you, Clark, is I, then uh, M will go to John, and then D, and we're going to spell dying. But the idea is, whatever your letter is, you have to name any movie that begins with that letter, any movie at all, and you stay in the game. If you can't think of one, you're out. But if you match the movie I wrote down ahead of time, then uh, you win the whole thing automatically. Wow. So you want to think about it, because a theme might emerge. So we're just switch, Clark goes first, and we're... Yeah. But we don't know what the theme is? You'll find out, I would imagine, eventually. (laughs) 
<laughs> and it's only movies. It's not movies and television. No, no, TV. Don't even mess Theater. with it. Don't you, if you bring up Twin Peaks again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So we're we're naming movies. It's gonna be trouble unless it's Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me. What? But what's the theme? We don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. We're yet. not allowed to know. We but don't know the theme. how does the theme it will come about? Itself. The theme will present itself it as the theme we... just emerges or it doesn't. Okay, cool. It's like when you look at one of those paintings to see a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you're just looking at a Rembrandt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and what's wrong with that? It's a great painter. Yeah, so don't stare at it trying to find a dinosaur. Yeah, instead, enjoy it. Instead, it's just some old lady in a hat. Turns out to be him. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. All right, here we go. So the letter I starts with me? <laughs> yeah, first letter is I. Any movie in the history of mov- movie pictures uh, that begins with the letter I. Inception. Whoa. Woo. That is, it, it's not the one I wrote down. Did I win? <laughs> okay. I know what you wrote down. You do? Yeah. What is it? Interstellar. Insidious. <laughs> no. Wow. Close. Almost. <laughs> yeah, they all begin with I. <laughs> no, I wrote down insomnia. Uh, Insomnia, yeah, you know who was in that, right? Shia LaBeouf. Yes. N- Wait, no. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf gives me insomnia, but he was not. Can you imagine not being able to go to sleep at night? Shia LaBeouf. Robin Williams. Yeah, uh, yeah, Robin Williams is in that, of course. But it was yeah. a Christopher Nolan movie. That's that's right, isn't that Christopher Nolan? Yeah, so that was that's sure why it was fun. Oh, wait, who did Insomnia? Uh, not M- Christopher Nolan. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, Christopher Nolan. Anyway, on to John. M is your letter there, uh, M. Uh, John. M. Oh, any, fuck. Any movie begins with M. There's no movie that begins with M. <laughs> How about um, Midnight in the Garden of Good and oh. Evil? <laughs> I like it. I thought you might go Midnight Run. Oh, yeah. Midnight Express. <laughs> Midnight Rectal Surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. It's a video only I've seen. That was the I've working seen. title, oh, shit, but they went with Midnight Rectal <laughs> Surgery. And uh, the, movie, the movie I picked was A Man on the Moon, uh, starring the executive producer of I'm Dying Up Here, oh. Jim Isn't Carrey. Set, uh, Jim Carrey. Is yeah. that an A, A Man on the Moon? No, it's No, it's M. just yeah, Man right. on no, the Moon. Yeah. yeah. You almost, Mike. I'm not, try, I'm not, I'm like not your, trying to be a contrarian. If you believe, right? <laughs> but I mean, I'm... Yeah, that was the theme song. The letter REM sucks is. <laughs> <laughs> That's me in the corner. Um, uh, D is your letter, Michael. Um, do the right thing. That's a great one. That begins with D. I went with Down to Earth, starring Chris Rock. Never Here. seen it. You never saw that? Never saw it. It's, uh, it's like... Uh, Sounds like a fake movie. It's like Angel? Heaven Can Wait if it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got some good parts. All right, why is the next letter back to you, Clark? Youth, because I just watched it. Yo, that's good, nice. Paul. Yeah, that works. I went with Yes Man, starring Jim Carrey. I see the theme. <laughs> I see that now. I immediately see the theme now. John, the next letter is I to you. Uh, be really funny if it turned out to be Interstellar, but I, it is not. I, um, I, 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 it's a little in the no, garden no. of good and evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a movie. Um, uh, in uh, fuck, actually, uh, Ishtar. How about Ishtar? Oh, Ishtar is a fun guess. Yeah, uh, I went with I love you, Philip Morris, starring. <laughs> Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey. In the Shit. Sense of the That's theme. Tough. N is the next letter for Michael. Any movie begins with N. There's no shame in not matching as long as you just think of something. Just a, some, just think of any was, was Jim just Carrey think of an N Ni- word. Was Jim Carrey in Nightcrawler? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that is an N word, so you... Uh, <laughs> You, you succeeded. Um, now I feel bad for all that talk about because now what, I'm looking at what I chose. I went with Norbit. <laughs> Is Jim Carrey starring, in that? Starring Eddie Murphy. <laughs> no, no, Eddie Murphy's in that one. Anybody, any, anybody uh, ever watch Norbit? Yeah. Just taking a yeah. 
Like, yeah. It, I mean, Norbert's terrible, but like, <laughs> however, Eddie is so fucking incredible in that movie. Like all those movies where he plays all these. Like, honest to God, like he's yeah. good at it. He he's won really good. Academy he's Award very good at like, it. The, the, he's the, great. The professor movies playing everybody at that didn't like. Yeah, I don't know. I just he's wish I wish actor. people would looked out for him more incredible. to make what those characters were saying funny. Like he he got kind of yeah, sure, like yeah. you know the scripts weren't good or whatever. But but he's amazing and I don't know why. He's... Shout out to Eddie Murphy. Yes, <laughs> yes, Eddie, if you're Fun. listening, Eddie Murphy. Miss you, Eddie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> make the jump to drama. I'm on board. I did a movie with Eddie. <laughs> I poured did a little out for a movie. I did a movie with Eddie called uh, Pluto Thousand Net. Words. Thousand Words. Which is, yeah, not a great film. <laughs> he only has a thousand words left yeah. to say. It's like uh, that movie, Time Code. He only said about code. a thousand words to me when we were in the shoot. Um, no, but, no, he was um, <laughs> But if you're going to armchair quarterback it, it's bizarre to give a fast-talking comedian a movie role where he right. can't speak. So right there is like, okay, this thing is already Big off mistake. on the wrong track, right? But I mean, that's, you know, me, this is why me and you aren't development guys, you know? <laughs> if I met Eddie Murphy, I'd be like, hey, man, we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch boxing or that whatever you it. do. It started off like you're really hey going to give it to him. I'm your friend. <laughs> hey, man, I like you. <laughs> hey, man, we're hanging out already. I'm your friend. That's how I meet the labs. Bro. And we're cops. And we're cops. <laughs> 48 hours, too. I love Eddie. That's all I got. 96 hours. It's about time we make a movie that's good cop, good cop. <laughs> cop uh, buddies that are genuinely buddies. A grizzled veteran and a grizzled veteran. <laughs> And a female grizzled veteran. Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> Boo. And Army Hammer. Meet Clint Eastwood. G is your letter there, John. G. No, it's me. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's you. Grinch. Wait, didn't you say? Okay, no. Grinch. Well, it's how, how the Grinch. No, the yeah. first one's just called the Grinch. I like it. it. Well, Grinch. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Christmas. Is that under G or T? The Jim Carrey the one is... How the Grinch. How? Oh, the, the Gr Grinch How? is Bill Murray. Isn't there also the just a movie called Grinch? No. One could even argue it's called uh, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch. <laughs> but either way, it doesn't start with the word Grinch. There are no commas in the title. What's, so the what's Grinch? The don't count. Okay. Do you, got, do you have another one? I'll let you do another one. Just, just an, any G, yeah. Any G movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild, the pressure, right? I really thought I had something with Grinch, you guys. <laughs> no smart. There's been some Jim Carrey movies. I really. Comedian movies. Comedian movies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Just say any movie that begins with G. Just be like, good, and then finish the word. And you're good like, Burger. Yes. Yeah. Nice. I went with Grown Ups, starring Adam Sandler, <laughs> David Spade, a bunch of other comics. U is the next letter. U. U. Thank you. U. Oh, I like this. This is like a spelling. U. Word. Can you spell it, please? Yes, U. U. Thank you. Can I use it in a sentence? Yes. You need to answer. Okay. <laughs> U. Under a cherry moon. Oh, so close. I went with Undercover Brother. <laughs> Could be the name of Under a Cherry Moon. Yeah, starring Eddie Griffin. Shit. All right. P is the next letter. Um, P. Comedy. P. Um, Prince of Persia. <laughs> I really wish that I had written that down and people are asking for the full title, but I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> it's the same guy who went, Eric, full title. Because uh, I just went with... Eric. Eric. <laughs> uh, a motion picture called Punchline. Oh, great. Punchline. Never seen it. Yeah. It's uh, the Tom Hanks and... Uh, 
I'm Sally dying up Field. here as a prequel. No, to it Punch would not <laughs> be good to watch that. I mean, because that's even after the 70s. So there's no inherent value in you guys watching that right now to, to learn anything or to... I mean, I guess you could learn mistakes. <laughs> but... But that's one thing I really like about I'm Dying Up Here is a really the the scene with the comedy club and how the comedians interact and you guys play, being actors who aren't really stand-ups but you play stand-ups, it all plays very realistically. H. Yeah. yeah shut up. <laughs> shut up and play the game. <laughs> I'm done complimenting you. Is that oh. H. Who, who's Clark. H? Clark H. is H. H. So... Earlier when you said the Grinch, we talked to you out of that. Uh, so what do you think about the what do you think about the letter H? Oh, you're going hot top time machine. Yeah, I went uh, Horton. Here's a who. <laughs> Starring Jim Carrey. E is the next letter. Wait, is that a real movie? Is that a Jim Carrey movie? That's for real. Yeah. Horton, here's a who. Yeah. Is it Jim? Know, Jim? Doesn't Jim talk about it on the set? <laughs> Jim told me. Scene, I think it's my masterpiece. Horton hears like, like there's a when scene where you're doing Horton cocaine, and he's like, "Well, if Horton were here." <laughs> See, on Horton, we did a funny thing where Jim told me all these nightmare stories on The Grinch about how he had to take like Navy SEAL training to deal with being in the the makeup, like because he was having like a like a complete. Oh, blow. that shit's so claustrophobic. It's like claustrophobic. Some yeah. Navy some Navy SEAL came up and was like, "You gotta deal with it, man. <laughs> you're playing the Grinch." <laughs> That's the reality, bro. <laughs> Deal with it. That's the Navy SEAL way. And he really you're shouldn't in the have... makeup, so you do it. You... And he shouldn't have let him put the elephant makeup on him for Horton. Here's who, because it was animated. He could have just wore like a box on his head with a hose hanging out of it. All right, uh, E is the next letter. Um, e, uh, yeah. that's actually kind of tough. Um, e, what's love got to do with it? E, nope. uh, every, everything, um, everything, everything, everything good everything. must, everything, uh, I think you already said everything, everything. That's um, in theaters now. I'm saving that for when E comes around um, to me. Um, end of reason, edge of reason. Nice. Oh, okay. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> a title of a real movie. Um, I think um, tomorrow. It sounds like a, a E. Is it? Do you know that movie? What? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Edge um, of Reason. Edge of Edge Tomorrow. Of, isn't that? Oh a, no. You know what? Edge of it's, Tomorrow. Is it's, definitely a movie. Because that's uh, Edge of Reason. Is is um, what's the Rene Zellweger? Uh, oh yeah, that's the subtitle part, part after three. Bridget, Bridget Jones' three. Diary. Edge of Reason. <laughs> so that okay, movie so begins that's with not the letter B. Really, that's really not good. Okay. It's actually an erotic mystery. I don't think we right. allow that either. How about you have failed, sir? How about fuck? How about evil? <laughs> no more guesses, sir. No. Okay. Evil. Um, <laughs> uh, Santa. Um, <laughs> Everwood, the TV show, not movie. Um, okay, that's enough. All right. I don't think you're ever going to say Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless oh, Mind. Right. So dumb. Starring, I was going to when Jim he came Carrey. back around to me in a minute. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, anyone could say that, Clark. <laughs> R is Game's the next ruined. letter. James <laughs> Um <laughs> Ride Along 2. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like that. You, you bold choice. Could have been Ride Along regular. Wait, is there a Ride Along 2? Sure yeah, is. There, yeah. yeah, there is. <laughs> Better than the first one. Oh. <laughs> Was it? I didn't see either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I went with uh, Richard Pryor live on the Sunset Strip. Yeah. I didn't know we were going for stand-up yeah, specials. I don't know that, 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 sound, that shouldn't count. That's, that's a movie. Film, man. That was legit film. <laughs> <laughs> I, did a, I did a rail off of that, uh, a can of that film. Uh, and then finally, eat. End of Days, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nice. That's good. But I went with uh, Earth Girls Will Easy, starring Great Jim movie. Carrey. Great movie. Yeah, we got through it, you guys. We did it all. You made it all the way through. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> well, you're mad about that. You're gonna, I, this is one's going to make you really mad. Shit, okay. Yeah, you ready? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go uh, same... Uh, We'll start with uh, Clark again, but we'll switch the order around. It'll be that, then we'll go to Michael, and then we'll go to 
John. And here's the premise, you guys. The game is called, Whose Tagline Is It Anyway? I will say a tagline used in advertising in some way for a motion picture, according to IMDb, IMDb. And then uh, ask you one at a time what movie you think it is. You each get a shot at guessing. Uh, so don't uh, don't jump in early. It's a, you gotta go. Uh, you gotta take turns. I just can't believe this guy has a forty of Bud Light right in front of us. <laughs> it's empty, but you know what? I have a good feeling that you're gonna. Show's almost it. over, Mike. It's in your butt. <laughs> it's about to squirt out of your butthole. Real healthy. Healthy night. <laughs> John, that's, that's not a liquid work, man. For this guy, this guy's full of holes. Because a bunch of good dudes ripped him in new assholes. Right? Okay, Clark gets to go first. Just leave him alone, John. Please, John, don't hurt him. What movie Clark had the uh, tagline... We bury our sins, we wash them clean. <laughs> Do you have any idea? You know, I'm passing is okay. You don't have to... Barbershop. Strain yourself. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to change it. Barbershop too. <laughs> Full title. <laughs> Eric! <laughs> I actually think it's I know it. It's called Barbershop Aftermath. <laughs> uh, what? I think I know it. Okay, but hang on. Really? Yeah, but your turn isn't up yet, but... Uh, no, it is it, your turn. It, it is his turn. Oh, Angarano must have been in this Other movie. Other way. <laughs> no, it is your turn. Mystic River? That's right! <laughs> yeah! Nice. That's a hip. That sounds like Pet Cemetery too. We yeah. bury the souls. Well, I was we hoping wash that uh, you know uh, Ari wouldn't recognize yeah. it, and then everybody laughs when they. Uh, is she in that movie? Don't recognize yeah, she it. is. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, I see. Yes. I'm in a dipstick Small river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a new Netflix Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> okay, so. That's one for uh, for Michael there, and uh, I got a pen around here somewhere. I'm really gonna run this thing. <laughs> like what? Um, what He's happened? Got one. I got one. I just watched the trailer for Mystic River like three days ago. That's how I know it. Why? Because I like this. <laughs> The score reminded me of some. I heard something that reminded me of the score. Oh, did you hear Shouldn't somebody dying? <laughs> In a flowing river. Twin Peaks wasn't boring enough. You wanted to <laughs> wanted to up the ante a little. <laughs> All right, John, you get first mm -hmm. crack at this one. Okay. Stop dreaming. Start living. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, stop dreaming. Stop dreaming. Start living. Holy shit. Just a period after each. It's not even like, it's not even like, stop dreaming. Stop. Start living. <laughs> it's more like just start living. Oh, man. The no it's hints, It's kind of like, huh? just oh. do it. This is the Nike. Flatliners? No. no. Flatliners not. is your guess? No, it's not my guess. All right, I'll give you eight more guesses. <laughs> okay. How about uh, stop dreaming, start living? Yes. What is it? Oh man! Um, it's um, the Matrix, right? Mannequin? It could be anything. It could, right? Um, all right. Mannequin. All right. Mannequin's your guess. Incorrect. Clark. Stop dreaming. Start living. Stop dreaming. Yeah. Stop dreaming. Like a Michelle Gondry movie. Start I don't living. know. I don't know. Pass. I don't know. Oh, you think it might be Be Kind, Rewind? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's something. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with that. Michael, that's not right. I know what it is. Oh, it's really? too late. Michael. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I think I know what it is, too. Yeah, it's all, this is all on Michael. He yep. does not know. <laughs> I'm going to say here. <laughs> you know, they have their yeah, time. It's a tough one. 
You know what it is? I, I mean, I have a guess. Uh, All right. You don't know. All right, you give up? No, I'm going to say, uh, I'm oh, just going to okay. throw like out a guess. Uh, it's not it. It's definitely not it. <laughs> Passengers. Oh. Stop dreaming. Start living. Yeah. You know, they were, they, yeah. they were in the ship. Wake up out of your coma. Let me ruin your life. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely not it. Yeah. No. Uh, that's wrong. Uh, it's from a uh, motion picture featuring the talents of Mr. John Daly. And it's called uh, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Oh, <laughs> Should have known. Yes! Stop dreaming, start living. Yeah, it makes sense. That's what Walter Mitty does. <laughs> he stops dreaming, he starts describes it perfectly, doesn't it? Damn it. <laughs> I can see why that movie was such a huge hit with that tagline. Trickster. <laughs> Tricky. Tricky bitch. Yeah. <laughs> How could you have known that would be when it lands on me, or you didn't know that? No, that's part of the fun. <laughs> lands on you. Everyone had a shot at it. It landed on all of us. Yeah. yeah. That. Just like, <laughs> just like Plymouth Rock. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, so who gets to go first this time? What happened? Uh, hey, you, oh, did we get... John Daly. John, yeah. it's me. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Eric. My guy, he's, keep, he's staying on top John. of it. John. <laughs> All right. I just went through puberty, y'all. <laughs> I'm 12. <laughs> Here you go, John. This is yep. the tagline from a major motion picture. Experience it. Enjoy it. <laughs> just don't fall for it. Jesus. This is an ex extremely difficult game. Experience it, Think enjoy it. Think of a movie it. where someone Rounders. needed to learn to experience it. And experience enjoy it, it and enjoy but it. But not fall for it. But don't fall for it. Yeah, don't fall for it. What happens if Vegas leaves in Vegas? Oh, that's a good Stays one. in Vegas. Yeah. That's I, experience it. That's wait, a great guess. I got a guess. Okay, you here can't, we go. You can't, you can't guess it's yet. It's Clark's turn, isn't it? Or it's is Clark's it your turn, turn, Michael? Let Angr Angrano go. No, no, I think Whose it's turn your turn. is it? <laughs> I think it's still John's uh, turn. No, he's no, that's, done. No, my guess is over. His yeah. guess is it's, uh, the, dumb. It's the, the magic movie, Now You See Me. Hmm. <laughs> the the eyes, Jesse Eisenberg movie. One or two. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's true of, that, of, of, of both of the Now You See Me movies, that you should experience it and enjoy it. <laughs> Do not fucking fall for it. <laughs> it's the magic's not real. <laughs> it's not even real. In, like no, like it's they, don't CGI. Even, they don't even do magic that can really be done. No, they just wave their hands and CGI yeah, happens. It's, it's like oh shit, money's shooting out of my yeah. dick. <laughs> 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 uh, Michael. Oh, that wasn't it. <laughs> Mm. No. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean that's not it. You just still have to guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd tell you if it was wrong. Uh, experience I mean, it, live it, it, it wrong. don't fall for it. <laughs> yeah. Experience. Bert Wonderstone? <laughs> <laughs> it's the, you know, if, if, you know, the full title is The Incredible Bert Wonderstone, ah! but, but that, that, that's a technicality I'm not going to hold you to because that's not the right answer. <laughs> The correct answer is almost famous. <laughs> oh, whoa. It's a weird tagline for that movie. <laughs> the well, theme is presenting it's what it was, It's what his mother would say. It's what your mother would say. I'm, Don't I'm suck calling, dick I'm calling him him. You're the younger version of him. I was, you're, you're both him. <laughs> like Don't if, fall like if he had won an Oscar, would you have been pissed like, I was little him? <laughs> uh. He was in like ninety nine percent of the movie. Yeah, he did do a lot of it, but you were you were you were a treat at the beginning. You really set the foundation. You really I like you're, to think you're so. the first one. To, you're, you you get to see you the first time he sees a record album. You're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel. I'm gonna be really a cool person because <laughs> I know about Simon and Garfunkel. Um, all right. This is fun. I don't want to play this all night. <laughs> we got to wrap it up soon. Who, who's going first again, John? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You better get this one. That's all I'm saying. Lights, camera, abduction. Whoa. 
<laughs> Lights, camera, abduction. abduction. Yeah. So it has to do with movies and kidnapping. So filming super uh, eight millimeter. Is it eight millimeter? Oh no, I know what it is. Wait, it's. Oh fuck! Is it lost in Austin? Is it Austin found? Austin found? No. <laughs> that's the name of a thing. Is that that's, a? That's a great title. Is it? Wait. Lights, camera. <laughs> Lights, camera. Abduction. Abduction. Oh, here, here it's. Uh, is it masterminds? <laughs> All right, your I'm turn is done. You've guessed. <laughs> you've guessed plenty. What it's definitely think, a Clark what Duke film. What do you think it is, Clark? Lights, camera, abaducatum. <laughs> I would say if it's on theme, it's a movie you've been in. <laughs> Mystic River. <laughs> Lights, yeah, camera, of Oh, yeah, that's it's true. Ferrari. That could be it. Could it be, be Ferrari, Ferrari, but there was already one Ferrari. Which, he wouldn't uh, double up. Lights, <laughs> camera, abduction. Oh, my God. I Wait. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you think, oh you, my you, God. you think you know it now? I have no idea. I pass. I don't know. All right. I so what no. do you think it is, John? It's Michael. What? No. Oh. It's the movie where you played... Uh, me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I was going to say Bowfinger, John, but I don't John, how many think movies have you been in, man? A couple. <laughs> Some of them I don't want to remember. I think that's going to be one of these. Oh, I you're, see what it is. You're credited in this movie as... I see what it is. ...as cop at French postcard house. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. The Coen brothers, yeah, yeah. But I love your, your credit in that movie, cop at French postcard house. It's yeah. like the most words to describe a character. Yeah, yeah. Normally you just say cop or cop at house. But Policeman one. <laughs> yeah, but cop yeah. at French postcard house. Yeah. It's so specific. I should change that. How fast is Officer your... Officer Johnny. How big is your part in that? How long does the cop hang out at the French Oh, I bust we come postcard in house. We come in and bust the French postcard uh, shoot and then pretty immediately Josh Brolin comes in and is like bribes us, gives us 20s. He's like, uh, "Keep it quiet, boys." And we're like, "Oh, sure, pal. Uh, we keep it quiet." <laughs> and that is what how I sound. <laughs> I like it. They like, uh, those Coen brothers like to uh, get the old timey accents in there. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on the project. <laughs> project yeah, the they don't go old timey and, uh, like, burn after reading. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Here's another one. I'm just going to let you all jump in when you think you know it. Now, okay. now that everybody's on to me. <laughs> I'm surprised he now doubled just, up. Now just start naming your own films. <laughs> Uh, he's leaving virgin territory. Sex drive. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Wait, what? Sex? He has that poster in his office. Sex, what? Sex drive. Okay. Sex drive. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. <laughs> Would have been a great catchphrase for and the gain. movie. Pain, pain and, and gain. gain to say no pain, no gain. Are but that, in, no pain and that's gain? not no, what they did, I don't think. No, I'm not. No, I no, don't no. think they did that. No pain, no gain? No, this is just called, this is just no pain period, no gain period. Anyone? Is this a movie one of us is in? Yes. <laughs> no pain, no gain. This is in a movie I enjoyed a great deal on Netflix. <clears throat> uh, is it The Brass Teapot? What? <laughs> is it The Magic Teapot? The brass teapot. Oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> it was magic. There's another movie with a yeah, brass yeah, one. Yeah. Nothing. It just sits there. But yours is magic. Magic teapot. That's correct. Whoa, what's that? You're in that? Yeah. yeah. Magic teapot. Yeah. 
Brad's Welcome teapot. to my magic teapot. <laughs> it's awesome. This couple finds a teapot where if they uh, intentionally hurt themselves in some way, money appears in the teapot. So the harder they hit themselves at each other, the more money appears in their magic teapot. Shit. Yeah. Lights, camera, abduction. It's heavy. <laughs> yes, that's what, that was the alternate tagline. All of these are pretty exchangeable. <laughs> the True. magic teapot, brass teapot, could have uh, had the tagline, he's leaving virgin territory. <laughs> Experience it, enjoy it, just don't fall for it. <laughs> the magic teapot. work for the magic the brass teapot. Dude, now you're fucking it up. No pain, no gain. The brass teapot. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. It, it okay, was. one more. The journey We're begins. Which one of you was in a movie with a journey in it? <laughs> the journey begins. Oh, fuck. And, oh! And that Chinese movie did. Is it me? Right? No, it's him. No, it's the, the movie. Forbidden Kingdom? <laughs> no. Oh! Nope. It's The Journey Begins. Was it me? It was, no. uh... No? Okay. <laughs> the Journey Begins. It's me? Amistad. The Office Season 5? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Clark, what movie you're in do you think they came up with the tagline? Like, people sat around and decided it's, to say, this is me. This is a movie I'm The in. Journey Begins. <laughs> what movie went that simple? What was the animated movie you did? Is it oh. The Croods? The Croods is the Croods. Whoa! <laughs> the Croods. <laughs> Whoa, that could be anything. The were Journey the, were Begins? The, were the Croods on a journey? Or were they just sort of came Journey to pay me. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys. Well, so, so far I wouldn't say we have a, a winner in p particularly, no. but uh, I think I think Michael got the most right of that. So uh, we'll start with Michael for the next game. Nerd. Eric. Eric. Uh. <laughs> We'll start with Michael for this uh, final game, and then it'll go to John and to Clark, and uh, the game is called Last Man Stanton. Yes. <laughs> and uh, this is a game where, uh, on occasion, I change it to Last Mash Stanton, and this is where I'm going to mash up two names of actors or actresses. And then you three guys have to take turns naming movies that those two people were in. They don't have to be in it together. They just have movies that one or the other has been in. Mm -hmm. If you can't think of one, you're out. But you do have one lifeline. Clark can go to Julie once. John can go to Matt once. Oh, no. <laughs> And Michael has the option to get some Aaron head. Pretty sure he left. <laughs> so it's not a movie that both people you name were, were in just No, no, just I don't, any, I don't know if they've been in any okay, movies okay. together, uh, but these are just the movies they've been in separately. It's going to be tough because it's, uh, you know, it's running out of time. We've got to decide who the winner is tonight. And so the name is Allison Brie Larson. <laughs> Uh, Kong Skull Island. Wait, hang on a second. I was just, do we just name movies they're in? Or? Yeah, yeah, but you don't don't go fast. Oh. It's not a speed thing. I mean, I do want you to do it quickly. <laughs> so but, we're naming but, movies me, that they're both me, in. Let me call your name first. So oh. I did say Michael was going to go first. And then, who did I say was next? John? Me. Okay. Name a movie that either of those actresses was in. Me. Yeah, me. You, you said it already. You, Kong got, you got Kong Skull Island. Yeah. Um, uh, fucking, <laughs> that fucking alien movie. No, wait, wait, wait. You can go to your uh, lifeline if you want. Wait, is it Allison no. Brie and who else? Brie Larson. Brie Larson. Oh, Brie Larson. Uh, Room. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Yes, you had to win an Oscar to get your attention. <laughs> <laughs> Most women do. Uh, uh, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, Clark? <laughs> Allison Brie or Brie Larson, name any of their movies. Uh, Trainwreck. Right, Brie Larson, good. How to Be Single. That's right, Allison Brie. Can you name a second Allison Brie movie? Well, you might have to. Can you? Um, Hang on a second. A second Allison Brie movie, or, the or Jason Brie Larson. movie, or is that oh, the one you just... Oh, okay, what is what's the that Jason called? Uh, Allison Brie movie, uh, right? which is called... 
Were you in oh, that? Let's dance. It's called <laughs> Cool Profile. Do you want your Do you want your lifeline to help you? Lifeline, Matt. You dumb dumb. Scream it. <laughs> five year engagement. Five year engaged, nice. bro. The five Matt, year you are my shoulder to cry on. <laughs> Clark. Julie, I need, I need help. Rough Is that an night. upcoming film? We can use upcoming films? That's okay. I n- generally don't like the use of upcoming films. That is films, upcoming so we'll film. Allow it. But I just saw the trailer for it, and it looks pretty funny, so I'm going to accept it. All yeah. right. <laughs> Which one of them is in it? Bree. <laughs> no, that's I Allison Bree. Allison okay. Bree's in it. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're back to Michael. Short Term 12. Ah. Yes. Damn it. Yeah, Brie Larson was excellent in that one. I knew, um, I knew this would end pretty quickly. French. They're both in French cheese, right? Uh, oh, boy. Uh, French too. Whoa. Uh, the movie. Uh, um, fuck. You, bro. Brie Larson. Brie Larson. Oh, she's in fucking. Oh. She's in. Oh, man. God damn it. Remember that movie where she's running around like, what? I know. <laughs> There's a movie where she's like, what? And then Allison Brie is like, hey. She's like, hey, what's up? I'm single. Let's party. And then Brie Larson's like, I don't know. We should be responsible and play Scrabble. They're Guys, not, they're not I in a movie fucking together. don't know. Okay. I'll, um, how about. Um, uh, Did you already use Matt? The Serpent in the Rainbow. I think uh, <laughs> Brie Larson's in you, there. Uh, no, you I, know I have no way of researching that. <laughs> I used Matt. Can I use Matt again? No. No, I you I already know. used Matt, so I think you're done. I think Done. I think you. you had a great run, though. <laughs> Clark? Does Captain Marvel count? That was announced, right? Brie's going to play Captain Marvel. Ah, announced. <laughs> 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 That's fair. <laughs> do you have anything else? It's tough. No, sir. Okay. What do you you got more, Michael? Uh, Can you put a cherry on top of this? Finish it off. I'm gonna go to my lifeline. Oh, smart. The gambler. The gambler. The gambler. Boom. What is that? Brie Larson. Mark She's Wahlberg. She's with Wahlberg. Yep. Yeah. I told her not to do that. <laughs> She wanted to work with Mark, dude. I, you know, some people like to look good, feel good. So, uh, so that means that Michael is the winner tonight of our game. Yeah. Come on up here, Aaron. Head what a lucky and, guy. Uh, get this. What a lucky guy bag you are garbage. tonight. The bag of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, please don't, just don't throw in a garbage can close to here that we might see as we walk home. <laughs> Hurts our feelings. I'll treasure it. He's going to treasure it. I love it. Spread it all out in your bed, take a picture of it, and send that to local law enforcement. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, guys, it's so great to have all three of you because you're on this new show that I love. It's I'm Dying Up Here. Sunday night, this Sunday night, it premieres June 4th. At 10 p.m., after you take an hour long nap. (laughs) (laughs) Is there anything else you guys uh, would would like to promote? Anything coming up? What do you got going on, Clark Duke? Just this TV show. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, I'm not forcing you to say anything else, but John Daly, you got something else you want to talk about? Huh. Well, Doug, yeah. I have something to say about the state of our country. Oh, oh no. This we is are just, divided. This is just plugs. This is the plugs part. I'm we plugging. Just, we just want to know where My opinion. We want to know. <laughs> we, we want to know where we can go to see your opinions. We don't, right. we don't need them here. Shit. But no. Where are your opinions going to be presented? I'm dying up here. <laughs> I'm what? dying up here. Just I'm dying up here. <laughs> oh, okay. Same That's thing. It. I'm doing, yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, check me out around town. <laughs> Baby? Hey, Aaron, do you want your uh, name tag sans butter, Butterfinger back? Yeah, he's coming back Find up Find me and John oh, in the streets. Yeah, we're in the street. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Michael, do you have anything else uh, going on? Not too much. I, uh, I, I directed a movie that's coming out that's going to a film festival this month. Look which, how organized this asshole is. <laughs> which uh, film festival is it? It's going. It's called the Lower East Side Film Festival. It's in oh, New the York. old LES. Yep. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. He's aware. John Leguizamo <laughs> founded that, right? <laughs> he Legs. might have. Joey Legs. <laughs> Joey on Legs. On the Johnny set of Pants. Super Mario Brothers, the, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it all started. Uh, what's the name of your movie? Avenues. Okay, and uh, is there anything else you want to tell us about it? Ari Grainer's in it. Yeah? Ari came out. That's cool. We're going we're gonna to try Ari. I saw it. I liked it. Oh, great. I haven't seen it. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> we got, see, we got all the, all the different opinions that are out there. People either really love it or job. they're excited about it. That's all we need to say. And Ari, uh, uh, we hope she gets better. She's not going to hear this. Shout but, out. Uh, she's not going to hear it, but uh, uh, we'll hopefully have her on a future episode. But you guys were fantastic. Thank you very much. Woo! Yeah, once again, for Michael Angarano, John Daly, and Clark Duke. Doug Lowe's movie's coming to Tempe, Arizona, the uh, improv there on July 15th at 420. And as always, here's the part where I say the consolation prize, you guys. Uh, as always, uh, mayonnaise is a shithead. <laughs> she wanted to say that. She drew that beautiful poster just, oh. just for that to happen. Right. Or to win the prize bag. That was Julie's. Yeah, Julie. I didn't know what I I mean, we're not, we're not supposed to, you know, say specifically who's who's who's. Like, I'm not going to say that Matt came up with this one. But Matt's got, Matt's got some, he's got a four-point answer. Just doesn't say one shithead. So I'll just let me go through these. Uh, the man is a shithead. Uh, the establishment, of course, is a shithead. The system is a shithead. And the Dave Matthews Band <laughs> is a shithead. Once again, today's episode of Douglas Movies is brought to you by Two Dope Queens, a weekly stand-up and storytelling podcast from WNYC Studios, hosted by Jessica Williams and Phoebe Robinson. Listen to season three of Two Dope Queens first on Spotify for free at spotify.com slash dope queens and get all your favorite music on the Spotify mobile app. Another talkie Eyes of gold His viewing prowess Makes him cocky There's no room in